In this video, you're going to see how to put in a whole house roof runoff system on a new construction home, before landscape, before sprinklers. We're going to show you how to do this so that it's a better drain system. It's out of harm's way if you do it this way. And the men did this whole house in about five hours. We're in Macomb Township, Michigan, putting in a whole house roof runoff system this is new construction. We're going to show you how we're doing new construction for 2026. Let's go. All right, Patrick just core drilled with our six inch core bit. We're running a whole house roof runoff system here. We're going to have a four inch line come down this side of the house. We're going to have another four inch line come down that side of the house. They're going to merge right here to a six inch main. Right here is the six inch core. The guys already cored the storm drain catch basin. This basin goes down vertical and then it tapers. The guys are really deep. They went through the sidewall, nice core. We're gonna be deep. We wanna be deep. This whole system we want it to be deep because the sprinkler company's coming in after us. They're gonna run their sprinkler lines over top of our system. We always tell people on new home construction, the drain needs to be first. Don't worry, we'll be out of the way. The sprinkler guys can pull their pipe. They won't hit our pipe. Just want to show you what this looks like. We're going to use our four-way connect. We're going to have the blue solid pipe on bottom in the four inch. We're going to have our three and a half coming off the downspout to this top connection point on this catch basin. We went ahead and capped off this side. We're going to be running these all the way around the house. The guys did a great job. They drilled holes in the bottom. They also drilled some extra holes. You can see there's some extra holes right there. In case the bottom is full of sediment, you still want water that's left in the catch basin after rain to be able to leach away. We have a 2 by 3 downspout right here. You see how high the guys are? They did a great job. They mounted that really high so that we can take advantage of that height and have more slope. They're going to take this under the sidewalk. They're working on that right now. You can see how deep we are. We want the sprinkler system to go over our system. Look how deep they got. I love these whole house roof runoff systems on new construction homes. I wanted to show you the fitting that we're going to use to connect the two four inch lines to a six inch. This is dual wall culvert pipe. That's six inch with a piece of four inch. It's been welded. We take our four to six, snap it inside. Over here we take our external four inch. That's it. This is how we're going to connect the two four inch lines to a six inch main. This is how you want to do it. You don't want to have a four inch Y and then use an increaser to a six inch. You never want to choke down two four inch lines that are mains. We got a little pour over right there. So we're just chipping away at that footing just a little bit so we can get our downspout on. We don't want it to be way off the house. We want it to be flush to the house. Quick, easy connection. That's the three and a half. We're running the three and a half off the downspouts to the four-way connect. Always tape your connection points. You want this to be watertight. You don't want to lose any water pressure. You want your roof runoff system to flow water freely. This three and a half inch line allows us to start shallower so we have more slope works out so much better. It's easier to get under the sidewalk as well. The guys are going to pull the four inch pipe. This is going to be one of two four inch mains. They're working hard not to knock any dirt clods in the trench because that'll affect their slope. Four way connect with a four inch main. Three inches going to connect there. Okay, 
This connects to the bottom. This is the main. The main connects to the bottom. This is four inch. So you can see the tall pile of dirt is not as tall down here. We're not as deep. But we do got to carry a certain amount of depth. We went into the side of that catch basin really, really deep. We want to stay out of the depth of the sprinkler lines. Now I've seen good quality irrigation companies that have really good line pullers. I've seen lines, you know, eight, nine, even 10 inches deep, but that's about it. You're not gonna see sprinkler lines very deep. They're typically shallow lines. What you see the guys doing here is picture perfect. This is really shallow on slope, then it drops down to the main line. So we're putting drain fabric underneath the catch basin. We're gonna fill the pocket between the drain fabric and the catch basin. You wanna dig a really big sump pit so that you can put the pea stone between the fabric and the catch basin. You want a nice pocket. Quick, easy. You tape where the coupler slides on the catch basin. You tape where the pipe snaps into the coupler. You want a really nice watertight seal. You don't want to lose any water pressure right here. All right, they connected this downspout right here. Let me show you what they got. At three and a half, you can see where it comes into the top of that four-way connect catch basin. You got your four-inch main at the bottom. This is a beautiful example of using this four-way connect catch basin for new construction roof runoff. This top part right here is capped off, plugged. That's it. So we have the three and a half inch connecting to the bottom of the four-way connect because this is the very first one in line right here. This is the very first downspout on the line. And when you're not turning from a different direction but you're on the same line as the main, treat this three and a half as the main for that short run. Tie it in the bottom. That way you start out your system. Then we go to the four inch on the other side. So the guys have the three inch coming in as an acting main at the time. Then they go to a four inch. You can see we're capped at the top right there. This is how you'll start your system if your first downspout's in line with your main. We're deep at the storm drain. We went through the storm drain really, really low. We wanted the whole system to have slope. We wanna be below the sprinkler lines. When the sprinkler company comes through this yard and they pull all their lines, we don't want them getting into any of our drain lines. So that's why we want all our drain lines deep. We want the main deep. The guys really like using that smooth nose bucket any chance they can. There's enough moisture that they're able to still work that flat nose bucket and they don't need the bucket with the teeth. So much nicer when you have a nice smooth bottom trench.
the guys are starting the second main. They have a three and a half inch line coming off this downspout, goes into the bottom. When you start out your system, that first three and a half inch downspout is gonna be acting as the main. You start out at the bottom of the four-way connect. Then they bump it up to the four inch. They have a beautiful trench. Man, are we deep. We're deep because there's gonna be an irrigation system put in. And we don't want them to bring their pipe puller into this yard and catch our drain pipe. But we wanna come in and install before they do. I wanna show this before it's completely covered. So this is the second four inch main that comes in to that six inch main. Two four inch mains to a six inch. Whole house roof runoff, new construction. Once you put the stone underneath the catch basin, go ahead and take the fabric, just push it down around the catch basin. Then you can push dirt on top of that. We have really good slope. We come right down. You can just see how we just get deeper and deeper. The pile of dirt gets bigger alongside the trench. We're putting all the dirt on the side of the trench because all the dirt goes back in when you're building a roof runoff system. We have the three and a half inch coming off the downspout, tying into the top of the catch basin. We got that four inch main coming in at the bottom. We're gonna hook up the four inch main again on this side at the bottom of the catch basin. We're gonna tie in another line to the top of the catch basin. The guys went ahead and they tied two three and a half inch downspouts into a four inch Y. So I want to point out, you can see these top lines that are going into the top of the four-way connect. You can see how they come in higher than the main. The main is so long, it runs for such a long distance, you get a lot deeper, a lot quicker. So this works out great. These are gonna tie into the top of the four-way connect catch basin. The main, you connect the entire main to the bottom of the four-way connect catch basin. Here's a really nice cutaway of what that looks like. You have the main line nice and deep. You got the three and a half coming in. Four-way connect. Super easy. Don't have to have a Y here at all. You need a catch basin. 
So you might as well use the catch basin as your Y. That's what's nice about the four-way connect. So let's check this out. We got our first downspout, first catch basin, second downspout. You see the dirt that's left over? When you put in a four inch main line, this is what you're gonna have left over. It's quite a bit of dirt. Now the guys are on lunch, so I figured I'd just show you that. Another catch basin here. We got all these downspouts on that four inch main. It's gonna be nice and clean. Plenty of water to keep that four inch line clean. We have four downspouts on this four inch main. When they come together, we do not want to put them together to a four inch. We have two four inch mains, they're gonna be moving a lot of water. We wanna go into a six inch at this point, take that six inch right to the storm drain. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about yard drainage, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.